Well, I spoke to Billie Jean last night, and she said one of the great things about the movie was that she got to not just meet all of you guys, but form friendships and everything. I mean, going into a movie where you're telling her story and everything, it must have been an amazing bonus to, to meet her and also kind of become close and everything. Yes, it really was, especially for a tennis addict. I <laughs> love tennis so much, and um, when I was 37, for some reason, maybe a midlife crisis, possibly, um, I started playing tennis like every single day and tried to train like I was actually a professional. And um, so it's been really fun to get serving advice from Billie Jean. Um, my daughter, Agnes, who's 11, plays tennis, so she's here with me. And so I was asking Billie Jean if she would give her advice about what it was like when she was 11. So it's been really, it's been heaven. They had those really old rackets in the 70s, yeah. so things have come a long way for, oh, yeah. for that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Imagine how even more talented tennis players were back then that, you know, they had these teeny tiny rackets and it was so difficult to create any power. So they had to really finesse their shots and they had to, you know, really strategize. So I just wanted to next ask you about Steve Carell. I mean, yes. the guy is just amazing. I mean, I know him from stuff like Anchorman and everything else. And people uh, like that. But over the years, he's become this amazing actor, got nominated for Oscars. He really yes. inhabits this one and kind of disappears behind yes. the, the Bobby Riggs facade. What was it like to be around him while he was kind of bringing that to the screen? Um, well, I was so grateful, first of all, playing the part of his wife, and I knew that my job was to understand him and ultimately love him and forgive him. So to have an actor who was going to portray the character in such a complicated and such an emotionally authentic way meant so much to me because I was there um, supporting him and trying to love him. and. I just um, have so much respect for him that he can both be such a great comedian and he brings so much life and comedy to Bobby Riggs' character, but then also to be able to show his kind of pain and his pathos and his need for attention, uh, to have the balance of that in his performance is pretty amazing. Not to give any spoilers away, but you don't share too much time with, with Emma. What was it like when you got to sort of see what she had done? Because again, uh, she kind of disappears into the, into the role. Well. The fact that I've been playing tennis for 15 years and I still would not have been able to portray Billie Jean King, it's impossible for somebody to understand really the level that it, it takes to be a professional tennis player. And yet, Emma was able to bring her physicality, her personality, the, the fact, the, the confidence that would inhabit somebody who's number one in the world, that she created that authenticity blew me away blew me away. She's so talented and I'm so excited that young my young daughters will have her as a role model. She's she's such a good person and they will have her to look, you know, to look to 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 watch all of her movies for the next 20 years and or 30 years, 50 years. <laughs> How old is she? Yes, she will be around for a long time. Over your career, I mean, you've made some amazing films and worked with some amazing filmmakers. How was it working with Jonathan and Valerie? Because Little Miss Sunshine, I mean, just exploded all over the world. What I think is extraordinary about this movie is that every single person, from the directors to the actors, were all so real and dedicated to the work. And the atmosphere that John and Val brought to the set was so supportive and calm, and they're very meticulous about every detail. Every, every detail, every nuance of the performances, every detail of the set. And so you feel so supported and safe that you, f you feel able to do your work in the way that you know you can. And uh, I just think that they're probably, you know, the best directors we have out there really right now. Uh, just finally, as a child of the 80s, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you about some 80s classics. Because there's sure. a few of your films have got anniversaries coming up. Yes. I think Babysitting is yeah. 30 years this year. The whole 30 year thing. So I, don't, <laughs> I don't like that. I'm like, wait, is that, that? Oh, okay, so yeah, oh, yeah, that's how uh, old I am. I think it's 30, 30 years, Cocktails, 30 years next is year. It really? And then the year Stop. after is Back to the Future no. 2, which is one of my favorite films. Oh my God. Um, I mean, for you as an actress, the legacy of those movies and the fact that new generations are still discovering them through, mm. whether it's DVDs or Netflix and stuff. I mean, that must fill you with so much happiness. It's really great. I'm very happy that a few of them, I wouldn't say all of them, but a few of them have stood the test of time. Um, Adventures in Babysitting was one of my favorites, and I really love that it still holds up. It, it's got great pacing. I think the comedy is still strong. I like that there's a woman in the lead for my kids to see. So yeah, I'm very proud that I was in a few of them. <laughs> yeah. Back to the Future 2 is still one of my favorites. Yes. And obviously you came into that at the beginning and having to change. Yes. The actress obviously had to change because she had to yes. leave for, for personal reasons. Yes. But to be, be thrust into that 
kind of environment must have been so much fun at that it time. It was so much fun. Yeah, I'm I'm so happy I'm a part of that that iconic mythical <laughs> movie. Um, yeah. Michael J. Fox is just such, a, such an incredible person, and Christopher Lloyd, yeah, I felt very grateful to be in that film. Yeah. Listen, thank you so much for your time. It's an absolute pleasure talking to you. No thank problem. you so much. Thanks so Cheers. much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from The Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.